Oh my god, it's the fox! Alright, I guess I'll take the train back home. Benjamin's still alive. I'm happy. I thought Mr. Voice killed him or something. Oh lord, okay. This is... Now when I look at this, I can see what Benjamin tried to warn me about. He knew all along. Such a foxy boy. Look at her still having a fat ass crush on the fox. That is so cute. Okay, I'll wait here. Waiting, waiting for a little while. Uh oh. Look at her okay. singing along. I'm gonna talk to myself. Whoa, what so the hell? Fortune. How have you been? Okay, I have this like weird day. I saw monsters, I saw dolls, I saw Benjamin, and then I went to the zoo and everything was everywhere. And then I realized Mr. Voice had lied to me a lot. And he took Benjamin, and now I'm alone. I don't like being alone. Same wow. here. Sounds like you had one hell of a day, Miss Fortune. The train is here. It was a nice chat, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Talk to you later. You go, girl. <laughs> I myself w do that. Like, I talk to myself a lot, too. Just to think out loud, just to... <gasps> he wrote Her friend. Her friend's watching her. A chunkingosaurus? That's funny. This is Lover of Ladies. Thank you for tuning in to this week's Little Misfortune. Appreciate the love and support here. So, do I just start coloring? Oh my god! This is so cute! You know, I just love coloring. It just relaxes me so much. But the thing is... I'm trying to... Wait, can I just... Wait, I can just call it all around? I thought I had to go between the lines. Yeah, I guess. I guess I'll just color it everywhere. So, as far as this game is concerned, I mean, I am totally in love with Low and Misfortune. I am so happy that I actually decided to play this game. I'm just really. I don't know. I'm just. I'm actually scared for her. The fact that Mr. Voice lied to her the whole time, kept it a secret from her, totally gaslight the living daylights out of her. We were trying to play an innocent little game in all reality. Who knows if this little game was just some sort of a weird ass procedure or ritual that the Voice wanted us to do all along. And poor Benjamin, like, the fact that the voice was constantly trying to get us to go against Benjamin, I knew that was suspicious from the start. Because in my head the whole time, I was like, why is this voice trying so dummy hard to make us hate Benjamin? When he, looking back at it, he has never once showed any type of aggression towards us. He never tried to hurt us in any way, shape, or form. And the fact that whenever Miss Fortune would talk so well about Benjamin, he would automatically get so defensive and angry and mad. It's like, bro. Like, I knew he had a vendetta for him, but it, it makes sense as to why he had a vendetta. Because he knew Benjamin's trying to stop him. Let me just finish this drawing first, because I definitely want to see the whole completed picture. And also, I loved coloring. It's been a hot minute since I did this, so this is so relaxing to me. I'm just not used to doing it virtually. This is 
a very strange, weird sensation for me. I'm over here thinking I'm holding a crayon when in reality I'm just using one of my joysticks to move her hand around. I'm almost done. I just, hold on. She's got to be patient with me. It's pretty hard to color everything, you know? Especially with my tiny little hands. Well, my thumbs. My thumbs are pretty small, but... Alright, almost done. This is a long train ride. How far did we actually walk? Because I'm starting to think every place I went to, it was literally just around the corner when he definitely made sure we were distracted at the fact that we were probably miles and miles away from home. Like, I, I think... I think that's the case, honestly. Alright. I'm done? Wait, I gotta color more? Oh my god. Fine, I'll color. Damn, this is the longest train ride I've ever... Well, actually, I can't lie. I remember one time I had a train ride where I went from... Waterbury all the way to Grand Central Station and that shit was like a hot minute. Me and my college buddies well I know I went to Waterbury to Grand Central Station halfway through the trip I had to change um, trains from Bridgeport to Grand Central Station so it wasn't really a straight trip I had to take multiple train rides. But I gotta admit though, Grand Central Station, seeing it in person compared to in the movies, was very eye-opening. Do I like it? No. I felt like Grand Central Station was too crowded for me. But it does have its nostalgia charm if you're used to seeing it in TVs compared to experiencing it, but... First of all, I just realized something. How do I have a green crayon? And yeah, I'm able to do yellow, red, brown. Like, what type of magic crayon is this? This has to be Crayola. Because only Crayola would be so good enough to just do this. Not no dollar store brand. And you know exactly what I'm talking about, too. The ones where you hold it a certain way and then they break within like the first use then again I always tend to break things so fast so alright let me just oh sorry I was gonna oh, come on I was trying to color fast but then I realized maybe I can't really color fast cause I am coloring as a what an 8 year old so my coronation sucks. I want to finish this drawing, so leave me alone. Stop rushing me. Damn. She is really into dinosaurs, though. That's pretty cool. I used to be strangely obsessed with Titanic when I was little. I used to watch so many documentaries, sometimes with my stepdad. But I was just so obsessed with anything that had to deal with that shit. Just like how well Miss Fortune is obsessed with these dinosaurs. Okay, got that. You know, low key, if I was her, I would have been getting my headset, my phone, and just listen to music. Well, back then, I had my own MP3 player, so I used that instead. And earlier than that, back in middle school and high school, it was a CD player. Alright, I guess I'm done, right? Yeah? Yeah, I'm done. Nice. Damn, another one? How many men? You know what? This is... I sense a theme here, like, I've been 
coloring for the past 10 minutes at this point. Ooh, a tiny butterfly. How cute. All right, so I'm just going to do a little bit, probably a little bit of coloring. Maybe. I'm not sure. Or do I really want to finish it? I mean, no, nah, never mind. I actually do want to finish it. I feel like if I leave it and not finish coloring, I feel like I'm, like, failing myself here. And I'm trying really hard to color, but it's hard. It really is. This, this may look easy, but it's really not. I'm literally using my left joystick to move it around, and this is just so hard. Damn. Hold on. Eh, I tried. I tried. So, how are you guys doing? Like, what's up? What's new? Do you in... Oh! She oh, just stopped. I don't feel inspired. Aww, bendito. Uh. Hello, Hiro. I didn't recognize you. Hm. Such a coincidence that you're on the same train as me. He's dead, honey. You know, I had a big fight with the silly voice in my head. But I don't think it's a voice anymore. I'm sure it's the monster. I saw it in a book at Benjamin's place. Really creepy. Have you ever heard voices in your head? I know Hira. What does it mean? Beware of the... It's the monster! Leave Hira alone! Let's help him! Hell yeah! I wanna help him! That's my friend! No! <gasps> He's gone! Oh my god, he's gone. And I remember on the mirror to be aware of your consequences. I am so sad I couldn't help him. That monster needs to be stopped. To again. I, I hope so what too. The did to him. I don't uh, even want to know. Now I have to walk all the way back home alone. This is the last time I follow a voice in my head. If Benjamin was here, he would walk with me. Uh... If Benjamin was there, he would have helped you to escape. Benjamin was warning me all the time, but I couldn't see it. I wanted that eternal happiness so bad. I'm a silly little lady. That's what I am. Uh... It is not your fault, honey. You're just a little kid. At what can you I do? At least I had fun at Fantasmagoria. <laughs> I'm gonna tell mommy about it. Ugh. I am so scared. Like, Ugh. what's gonna happen? These kids are just chilling there. With their depression mask. Excuse me. I'm talking over here. Well... If that's how you treat little ladies, then give yourself a fuck. Ooh. I don't think they see her because she's dead. Oh my god. All right. It's time to cross the road. The crows are around. The car uh, is gone. Where's the car? Is Daddy gone again? I bet he is. I don't see him. There's so many crows, bro. It's insane. We got red lights. I like them. This... This is Mommy, not her home. I'm back. Hello? What the hell is going on? It's everything is abandoned, as if no one hasn't lived What's here in a that while. Sound? Benji? Oh my god, I am so scared. Wow! 
No furniture. Nothing. Hello? Mommy? Bangi? What happened here? Congratulations. You reached the end of my game. You stupid Mommy piece of shit. I'm looking for Mommy and Benjamin. There's no eternal happiness for you. Oh, really? I don't really? Even care anymore. Of course you care. You know your mommy needs it. It's your responsibility. Yes, I guess you're right. Good, good. Ready for a new game? If I play along, will you give me back Benjamin? I guess I will. But only if you truly commit to the game. Okay. Splendid. You will love my new game. We're back from the beginning. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you. Wait a minute. Didn't I do this already? Yeah, you what? did, honey. No, you're not doing this correctly. Then you say something about me dying today, which is totally not true, by the way. <clears throat> Wait. Stop talking, please. Are we going to play another game, or is this like what? I don't understand. If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. And then you say deal, and I say yes. Stop ruining this! Uh, eternal happiness? No deal! Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to... wait. What? No deal. No. No. There you How go. Tell him. What if the fox was waiting for you in the hallway? If the game is about Benjamin and you leaving me alone, I'll play along. Sure, sure. I promise you know the way. Get the hell out of here. Huh, is this a new dance song? Well, I'm turning it off because I'm not trying to get copy claimed here. If Mr. Voice scares me again, I'm gonna run and hide in here. If Mr. Voice scares me again, I'm gonna run and hide in here. It's like somehow we went back in time. I have a little hunch that Mr. Voice is the monster in my closet. I don't know about being the monster in your closet, but he is truly a monster. Okay. I'm just gonna play his game. One last time. Wow, everything went back to normal? Little misfortune? Dude, I can't move. Hold on, what's going on here? How come I can't move? Is this glitched out? Hey, yo. I can't move anything. That was weird. Oh no, not again. You promised he wouldn't be like last time. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Ma, you lied to me. I don't want to play this game anymore. Fine. Let me come up with a new game to play. New game. Knock knock. Who's there? Ma, I don't want to play with you anymore. Knock knock. Oh, Who's shit. There? You're scaring me, stupid. Leave me alone. Honey, let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. Yo, the room. What happened here? My secret spot. He won't find me in there. Oh my god. This is so nauseating. Come on, come on. Open this door. Right now, Miss Fortune. We have a new game to play. Fuck your game. No, I told you already. I don't want to play with you anymore. Oh, sweet unicorn. Please take me to your rainbow kingdom. Ah! 
Shit, he's here. So I'm now so fucking we're scared. Playing hide and seek. I love that game. No, leave me alone. All right. Just so you know, my game is the only thing keeping you alive. Oh, really? Is that one more of your lies? I will live forever with Benjamin, and there's nothing you can do about it. Will you please stop talking about that fox? He's or been what? trying to take you away from me all the time. You sound mad possessive. Paintings. Ugh. And I you have an you ugly don't personality. Talk like that about my Benjamin. You tell him. You know what? I'm done with you. I want you to leave. Right now. You don't have a clue about what's going on. This is not the last game you play with me, Miss Fortune. This is only the beginning. Yo! Oh my god! Silly little child. Yo! Another toy for my collection. What the hell? You're mine to play with for eternity. No, the hell I'm, I'm not. Sick of you being a bully. You tell him. You'll see. Benjamin will come back and save me. No. We made a deal. You crossed the path, and now you're mine. Is he some sort of a demon? <gasps> Benjamin! Yes! He's here to save me! Benjamin! Oh, look, at, look at her. How did you get here? There's nothing you can do. She belongs to me. No, the hell she doesn't! You get him, Benjamin! Benjamin. You get him! Shank him! Be brave! Where's your courage? Yo, this is insane. I feel like this is like a crazy anime battle that's about to begin. No. No! Oh shit. Wow. Good job, Benjamin. I'm so proud of you, bro. The hero we didn't ask, but needed. Are we back to the beginning again? What's going on? She stay falling on the floor. Like... Is everything back to normal now? Benjamin saved me. Benji, are you around? I don't even know what's going on. Let me just take a I look I guess here. I have to reveal this. I'll make some improvements. But first, I want to find Benjamin. Okay, we can definitely try and find the fox. Benjamin, did you go outside? Honey, I don't think... I don't know. Hold on. Morgo is coming. Open your eyes. He's the voice in your head driving you mad. That is true. Well, now I know what to call Mr. Voice. His real name. Benjamin, where are you? Okay, so I guess everything is back to normal. I see the vase that we stuck together. The kitchen is back to normal. But the mom's not here. That's weird. Mommy? Where is everyone? Oh, look! The mom's there. Mommy! I'm back! Wait, Mommy, so... Don't ignore me. Oh, Are no. you angry because I couldn't get the happiness for you? What's happening? Mommy? Honey, I don't think she can see you. Oh my god, I'm so this sorry. This must be a bad dream. Oh no! Oh my god! Is that, that... That's you! 
Oh no. She got run over and she died. It was a hit and run. Honey, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Oh my god, some fucking bastard hit her and ran off. Oh, Bengi, you're back. I thought I lost you too. Oh, look what at that. Is, what, what's happening? We need to go? Alright. Where are we going? Bengi, wait. Are you taking me somewhere else? Because I have nothing against it. But I have to talk with my mommy first. Mommy, I'm going to go somewhere else. With Bangi, okay? He's the fox that I like. I'm a little lady, you know? That's what I am. I guess I was your little misfortune for a while. Oh, but honey, you, need to you find were never your that. Own happiness now. I love you forever. Bendito. Wow. This is so sad. Is this, like, heaven or purgatory? Like, where are we going? I guess on to a new adventure? What is Wait, this place? Wait, stop, Benjamin. Where are we going? I like how he doesn't even stop. Lord have mercy. Okay, fine, I'll follow you, but... This does not look like heaven at all. I am so sad the fact that, technically, Miss Fortune has been dead the whole time. Oh, puppy! I'm so happy to see you again! Wait for me, puppy! The fact that, technically... The misfortune died since the beginning of the game. I mean, a hit and run. That is so messed up. That is so sad. I guess she's in a place where she's able to reunite with all the other people or animals that died along the way. Question is, will I see Hero? Maybe he's here, along with the other kids. Oh. What the hell is that? Is, was that a caterpillar grim reaper? I'm so dumb with this game. That shit's funny as hell. Okay, so at least I'm here with two people that I'm familiar with. But either way, I'm still kind of lost as to where we are. Okay, so we're not in heaven. We can't be, because these bugs, these bugs are everywhere at this point. Like, whenever you see so many bugs, it's not a good sign. Like, tell me a, a time where, there, where seeing a bug is a good sign. None, that's right. Bro, where are we going? This is the longest walk of my life. That's not even comforting. This whole walk is basically turning into my 13th reason. Ooh. I love how Miss Fortune is not freaked out by what she's seeing. I don't know if it's a hallucination, if she's actually seeing these dead people or things. Maybe she's looking at memories of people. I'm not sure.
And Benjamin's not saying anything. This place is really cold. I mean... You're dead, since when can you feel coldness or warmth? Oh, shit. Oh. What is this? I completed completed most of it. That's cool. Okay, that's cool. I mean What does this say? All around disasters seem to disappear. Deep inside the fog, you defeat him. Huh, I guess Mr. Boy's game is over now. Benji? I guess he's telling me to come in, so I guess I'll come in. Whoa. Who are you? I'm a little lady. Miss Fortune. That's who I am. Lady Miss Fortune? Yes. Yes, you could say that. Good. Step inside. We were expecting you. We? Who? Who's expecting me? I mean, I, I can't lie, her voice is so soothing, even though her appearance is exactly the opposite. What is this place? Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.